Move Miami, we got a little secret for you here. Regatta Grove in the background with my boys in the wharf. It's gonna be wharf 2.0 right here in the heart of Coconut Grove next to City Hall. I've also got the big dog right here, Mike with Tax File. We're about to talk all about taxes, all about Miami, all about Coconut Grove blowing up. You're not gonna wanna miss this episode, stay tuned. Why did you pick this as the HQ for Tax File? I mean, when you have this type of view going around, it's hard to argue with, let's just start there. But uh, more than anything, we felt this was a very central location. When we have a lot of uh, people, uh, families that live down south, and we have a lot of uh, people that are living in Brickle area. Hey, very central location for everyone to get to. Uh, we also think it's very up and coming. I want probably the hottest area in Miami. And you see all the life and all the construction happening here. It speaks for itself. So. Exactly. We're here. We're right on the water. City Hall is right behind us. The Cipriani building is going up right behind this. Guys, this is where you want to be in Miami. There's a ton of restaurants. You can catch some of our other videos that we'll link below about Coconut Grove. But I want to talk a little bit about your business. I want to talk about tax file. All right. Uh, we're the Uber for taxes. Essentially, we have about 5,000 licensed CPAs and EAs around the nation. Very simple. You get your tax documents, whether it be your 1099 or your W-2. Take a picture, upload it, uh, upload it on a platform. You get an upfront price quote. And thereafter, if uh, everything's OK, you uh, get uh, connected with a CPA or EA. And after that, they return a completed return for you for, uh, to review. You can sign right there on the app. And right now, we're in the middle of tax season. We're March 1st here shooting live. Mike, are you feeling the heat? Uh, absolutely feeling the heat. We do have the uh, business uh, deadline coming up here in the next two weeks or so, mm -hmm. but uh, we love it. I mean, this is this is the time that we strive for and this is, uh, this is make or break time. So Mike, I kind of brought you on here because you've gone through all this VC funding. Talk to the people out there that have never been through the process, wanna go, you know, do a startup and have to go out asking for money. How did that process come about? And well, I mean, the most important part here is taking this from the idea phase to actually getting it done phase. Uh, met a lot of people out there that have great ideas, but never act upon it. First step is to uh, put together a business plan and go out and start acting upon it. There are a lot of VCs that have been moving here uh, from either New York or Silicon Valley here. A lot of opportunity, a lot of money for the right projects. Okay. And so you're telling us that the Miami tech scene is completely different today in 2023 than was the when you first founded TaxFile. Absolutely. Well, very different today, though. Uh, you do have emerging markets. You do have capital that's here. You do have a lot of um, a lot of great companies that have been funded in billions of dollars and have had exits as well. Uh, a lot more tech conferences. You have everything from Emerge, the Bitcoin conference as well. Uh, Miami is starting to become the, one of the centers here for the tech industry very quickly. And that's why real estate has taken off the way it has. Miami is holding true on all the really good areas in town. Everything on the water is just holding right now. Absolutely. You know, it's, it's I, I mean, supply you, and demand. You, we do have a, a lot of people that are incoming from other states. A lot of uh, Californians, a lot of new, people from New York here. Uh, we see that in the tech industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, we uh, a lot of the talent that we've been acquiring and been meeting here have moved here recently. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just making it more competitive here in Miami overall. I, I was getting Absolutely. offers this last year from people from out of the country. I think a lot of Colombians are moving here now. Uh, they feel like their money's safer here and we're an international hub and Miami's grown. And I'm glad to see you guys growing with it. It's amazing. Thank you. Mike, why tax file? What's different? Tell me what's unique. So tax file is very unique in many ways right now. You look at the traditional ways of doing your taxes. You can either go to do-it-yourself products like the Turbo Taxes of the World, or go down to the H&R block where essentially you have somebody that has no tax experience, been trained for 24 hours, being put on one of these do-it-yourself products and just asking you information there. Not really making a call, doesn't have the experience, uh, know how to get, deliver a consistent product. Other option was to go to the CPA firms and essentially you're paying a very marked up price. We wanted to remove all that. We saw the inefficiencies in the professional markets here and what we wanted to do is cut out, the, uh, cut out the, 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 this inflated professional market prices but still deliver the same quality. How are we doing that? Well, with licensed uh, CPAs and EAs. Essentially, you're able to come in here and we're able to uh, match you up not only on uh, your specific needs and price points, but we're also matching up to the talent set of the CPA and the EA on the back end. We have over 5,000 professionals around the, the nation here. Uh, essentially, we get what your complexity is gonna look like and we find the right person for you. Average of 14 years experience, it, it's hard to beat our results. Mike, your office is right here in the heart, in the pulse of it, in the Mayfair, in Coconut Grove. What is your favorite bite? What's your favorite bar here in Coconut Grove? Tell the people. 
bar, new bar on here. If you haven't checked it out, I go check out level six. Ooh, rooftop action. Rooftop action, hard to beat. Okay. Um, great selection, great ambiance. I personally uh, had a great time there the other night. Awesome. So uh, as far as a bite to eat though, uh -huh. personal favorite of mine though is Sapporo de Mare. Ooh, the seafood spot. Hey, spot. little spot. A little hole in the wall. Don't, don't knock it from the outside. Looks like a little hole in the wall, but you go in there, authentic uh, Italian cuisine, uh, absolutely delicious. Guys, if you like this content, please do me a favor, smash the like button, share it with your friends, and don't forget to move, Miami.